大家好，我是三九天佑。那今天我们要继续跟 Mike 训练，然后他刚才在训练前给我们一人一颗网球，我们就来看一下，待会他会用什么样的训练来透过网球增加我们的技术呢 ？Let's go. Two ball dribbling, okay, and then you're gonna go like twenty. If you can get your eyes up, it's cool. Kind of like scan around the room, play with it, and then we're gonna go to balance. So you're gonna go single leg. Notice my shoulders. They're kind of moving with the ball, and then single. Then this station, we're gonna do ball attachment. You're just gonna work on a lateral push, press, come back, decelerate, press. Five each side. After you go five each side, we're gonna do trunk rotation ten, trunk rotation ten. And then this guy, we're gonna do something similar to like yesterday. First one, we'll just stay extended, shake the ball. I'll coach you through this one, okay? We'll do a couple different band ones. All right. So first one, we'll go right hand, high knees. I'm gonna turn my shoulder. If I turn my shoulder this way, keep it on the right side. First one's gonna be right hand, high knees, attacking me. Yep, toes up, knees up. Boom, good. Yep, go. Yeah, go finish. Then we'll meet you on the other side. Guys, point your shoulder here. Face me here. It's like a normal attack angle. Okay. Don't go flat down on it. Yeah, with the lateral. Like now. Good. Quick open up. Nice. Good eyes. Good eyes. And then, uh huh. There's a snap. That's the shiftiness. Left to right, I like better. Yes, nice. You got it too. Good job. You had it on this side. All right. So we're gonna do some footwork today. Uh, I'll take a rebounder, but we can like rotate you in slowly. Okay? Yesterday was build, building our, our base. Yeah. So today we're gonna work on our reactivity with our footwork. Yeah. Next session we'll go back to base and add this. But today we're gonna skip base and see how you do with just reactivity. Yeah. So it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna be here. You guys are gonna have your shoulder to the rim like normal. First one, I just bounced the ball. You saw this on my gram yesterday with the kids. So I want my shoulder here and you can just drop the ball. Dropping right in that place. Okay, and I'll stand in front of you like this, so you have to go around me. So when we add the hip turn, both of you guys are going flat and like taking steps. I want a quick hip turn, so we're breaking down the spot and going right up. You hear the tap? That's me reacting off the floor. So I'm ready to pop into my shot. All right, so let's try it again. Okay, so come close to me. Yeah, good, high feet, quick turn. See how you went up? Yeah. I'm gonna stand here, don't run into me. Quick turn, with your feet up. Good, now we just gotta get our square to the rim. Give it a little more time. A little more time in the air. The ball, the ball. Good, this will get easier. This angle is gonna be better, come here. So how do we know our angles, guys? See our shoulder? It, that'll be like what the defense is doing to you. Yeah. So that's like kind of the angle we want in the ball. Quick turn. Try not to grab it too early. Looks good though. Let the ball kind of go with you. So what I mean by that, watch when Mike bounces the ball, it doesn't matter. Give it time. Okay. Both of your traps, like urgency. Oh. Let it, yeah, let it hang a little bit so you have the rhythm. Because okay. this is for you to like get rhythm on your jump shot. Yeah, now we're better, now we're better. No bad students, only bad teachers. Here we go. No, that was a little reach, you yeah, feel the difference? Quick hip turn. 
Nice, that was the best one. There we go, that's what I needed a demo. My feet don't wanna do it today. That was good. We're just gonna go top of the key, counter step back off the one, two. So nothing crazy. We're gonna do five minutes of this. All right, so left, right, counter, step. You can play with it if you wanna start in the mid range first and then work your way out. We're gonna shoot for like five minutes. So it's gonna be left, right, right, left, counter, and then we'll switch it up right, left to the left, right, it's counter step. So hot feet. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna have two basketballs in, up in the key, and we're gonna have one with you. We're gonna have our shooter rolling the ball in between each ball. One, two, three. Then they're gonna sprint to the corner. We're either gonna make two or shoot two short shots. Whatever happens first. If it's two short shots, you go down, jog, jog back. The next guys are going two, three, two makes or two short, whatever happens first. Try to get two laps. Two laps, so one rolls each way. Donovan does five. Donovan Mitchell does five of these. And he does 10 sprints if he misses instead of one. We use the ball rolls to like help you stay in a stance without folding over. So you're here, rolling the ball. You can do it like contained, like a strength kind of exercise. And this, is, this pro lane's pretty big and pro, pro lane's legit here. So then here, we're coming back and then three. So if you finish on one, two, three, you'll go to that corner. We're all, they're rebounding for me. You're either making two, or if two short shots happen, you have to take a sprint. So we're giving him a task constraint. Short shots equal run. Push, yes, nice. Good, roll it back, push. Right foot straight, right foot straight. There you go. That's two. I'm gonna pick the ball up, he's gonna leave his, and he's going opposite corner. Yep, there we go. So he's got to make two threes or two short, whatever happens first. Ball, ball, ball. Short, that's one. One make. Not a, that's just a miss. Good hustle. Take off, take off, take off. So now we'll add resistance to our ball roll. Left hand, chest tall. And then deceleration, control, control. See how he's decelerating with that control? That's what I want to see, okay? And push away, nice, Ray. Take your time, I'll take the band off. Good, yep, now. There you go, one. Nice. Guns down. One short. Bye bye. Full court, full court. Here, Rick, I want you to practice. So you always cross the band. 
always cross it. Okay. So if it snaps, it doesn't hurt you. All right, last one. Set him up for me. So now we're gonna do the lateral walk that you guys did, but we're gonna have it on our forehead. So you're holding it like here. So a lot more core stability up top. And we'll just do one, one, half, and a half. And then the jump shot, where you guys wanna shoot from? Last spot. We did the corners. So we can do wings or top. Let's use left wing for right hand shooter. Right the head, tight core, don't let go. Coming back. Good, now I'm gonna go this way. Just coming back, decelerate, control, good. Good, and, just, and then don't let go. Good, and then relax. Now take off, I got you. Not short. Let it go, let it go. Not short, that's a make. That's a make. Short. Short. <laughs> oh, perfect. We can finish my favorite way. Everyone make a floater over the backboard. Oh. Left hand in and out. Trust me. Scoot back. Do a left hand in and out. Now do it. Yep, there it is. Good work, guys. That was a little different style today. Yeah, that was fun. You guys all did great. That's kind of how I like to do fatigue shooting. So, you guys, Mike, when I was talking about today's training, what did you feel? Did you feel like he was using this kind of equipment and training style? Which parts of your body felt more tight or were you being trained? I felt like my hips and the core of the shoulder and the core part. 它给我们是跟上次完全不一样的菜单，那比较多是在平衡跟我们的脚步的部分。那他说，因为这三次他都会给我们不一样的东西。然后刚开始我们在做三个分站的训练啊，他说他在帮 NBA 球员训练的时候，或发联盟训练的时候，他会分成球场三块不同部分啊，让球员在上面做循环。那这样就可以很快达到全全部人都可以热身的状态。然后热身完还会进到投篮，再进到一些技能跟脚步的部分去完成赛前的训练。对，所以对我们来说，其实我觉得这样的热身是非常扎实的，并且可以去启动你的各个部位的肌肉。再来就是它可以让你的关节活动度变大，然后好让你在比赛的时候就可以马上的热开身体进入状况，不会让你在比赛前还是感觉是身体是冷的，或者是还抓不到感觉。那好的热身也可以让你更快进入比赛的节奏。再来就是你会有更好的感觉在球场上。然后最重要的一点是，好的热身是可以避免球员在球场上受伤的状态。好，那以上就是我们今天所有的训练。那如果大家喜欢的话，记得帮我按赞、订阅又是篮球频道，并且分享给你喜欢的篮球朋友。也可以到 Mike 的 IG 去追踪他，然后看一下他在帮球员训练，或者是在影片上其实会有不一样的训练计划。OK， 我们下次影片见，拜拜。Two laps. No, right. No. Three.